So yeah, once once you've gone through sort of the the directory entries and you've made your seed list, you've identified a niche. These are sort of other things that I've learned through doing some of these competitions that are really important to consider. Uh, affiliates, anytime you can get affiliates, <coughs> as I said, more hands makes lighter work for you. Uh, so if you can just remember to provide an affiliate friendly URL for these folks, you can get them involved in the outreach as well. Um, standard mailing lists, this seems like a no brainer, but obviously you should be contacting them about this competition as well. Uh, same with sort of standard PR. Um, if it's for a new product, if you're, say, launching a company or a site and you're giving away an iPad, may as well include in any sort of press release you do for your brand launch or your product launch that you're also running this competition. And so these two go hand in hand, but the, the most important thing, I think, to bear in mind when, when you're offering to do this, if you are from sort of a more varied background like Annabelle or anyone who works at an agency uh, is to be wary of what it is the client is expecting out of it. Uh, I'm talking about it from a Link's perspective, but there are other ways to run competitions more heavily focused on Facebook and Twitter and sort of, you've all seen the please retweet. People get 60,000 followers just by giving away an iPad. If that's what they want, that's great and easy enough to do. But if what they want is links, I wouldn't be spending all your time uh, sort of chasing down Twitter followers necessarily. And as I sort of alluded to earlier, I was pretty easy up and you don't want to reach out to people uh, who you've never spoken to and ask for a link. No one really likes that. So try to have those relationships and the foresight to develop those a bit in advance. 